Hello, I'm Kay from the Spectra team and in this video I will show you how to customize your header and footer. Now this video is part of a course organized in a playlist, for which you will find a link in the description below. And if you want to get the most out of it, I strongly encourage you to follow this course in the exact order the videos are organized in the playlist. Ok, let's get started. And first of all, you want to change our website's header with the Astra header builder. But before we can do that, there's something I want to show you. So in WordPress, you want to go to appearance, menus. Then here in the dropdown, you want to select the header menu. Click on select. Then click on view all. Select the privacy policy page and click add to menu. Next, click on save menu. Now we will remove this later, but for the time being, just click on save menu. Now, as you will see, the WordPress Astra theme allows us to use different headers. And to illustrate that, let's go to Pages, All Pages, then hover over the home page and click on Edit. Next, click on the Astra icon, then scroll down to Advanced Settings. And as you can see here, the header enabled for this page is the transparent header. Now, keep that in mind for later. OK, let's close this. And let's go back by clicking on the WordPress icon in the top left corner. And let's repeat the operation for the privacy policy page. Click on edit, Astra settings, advanced settings. And here we can see that the transparent header is not enabled. Now to be more precise, it's actually inheriting the settings from the Astra customizer. So unless transparent header has been defined for the whole website, when you see inherit, it will inherit the standard header. All right, so once again, keep that in mind. So let me close this, let's go back. Then let's go to Astra, customize. And as you can see here, the logo and the menu are perfectly visible. But now let's click on privacy policy. And as you can see here, the logo doesn't make sense. Now the menu is okay, but just imagine we had light colors like white or light gray, it wouldn't work here. Now the good news, as I mentioned earlier, is that the WordPress Astra theme comes with header options. So all we need to do is tweak a few things to make it work in both scenarios, standard and transparent header. And since right now we are on a page that should not use the transparent header, let's start with the standard header. So in the side navigation, click on header builder. Next, click on primary menu. And then let's go to the design tab. Let's start with the menu hover style, click on the drop down and select zoom in. All right, let's scroll down and for the menu color, make sure that the text for the normal state is set to color number four and the text for both the hover and active state is set to color number two. All right, let's close this. Next, click on the pencil icon next to menu font. Let's scroll down and change the font size to 13 and select the uppercase option. Awesome. And by the way, the way we got here was through the side navigation, but we could also have hovered over any element here in the navigation, for example, the menu and clicked on the pencil icon. We would have arrived at the same spot. All rows lists are wrong. Now let's go back one step and next click on site title and logo. And we're going to change the logo. So click on change logo and we're going to select the darker version of our logo. So I click on select skip cropping and there you go now it makes way more sense for a page that does not use the transparent header now while we're at it let's scroll down and click on site icon click on select site icon and let's select this file then click on the select button and now this is what the website's visitors will see in their browser tab let's click to publish our work transparent header now let's go back to the header builder and this time let's click on transparent header. So as you can see, you can enable the transparent header on the whole website, which we're not going to do here, but to make things more obvious, let's click on the home page so we can load it because this page uses the transparent header as we saw earlier. Next, let's click on the design tab and for the menu color, let's make sure the normal state is set to color number two and the hover state is set to color number six. So right now this move made our menu completely not visible, but that's because it's depending on the image background. And I will show you later on in the course how to fix that with the Spectra Visual Website Builder, regardless of the background image you're using. Now, if you take a look at the bottom of the screen, we see here we have a representation of the header builder. Here we have our site title and logo. 
Then here on the right hand side, our primary menu and our call to action button. And we can just drag and drop elements. So for example, here, as you can see, I've changed the positions for the call to action button and the primary menu, but it doesn't really make sense. So let me put it back the way it was. But what I could also do is add another layer. So I could put the button here on top or I could put it at the bottom, but let me put it back. So you get the idea. It's drag and drop and all you need to do is let your imagination flow. Now, this demo has already been studied to convert. So I suggest you leave things as they are in terms of structure, at least for the time being. All right, there's two more things we need to take care of. The first one is we're going to change the width of our header. So for that, we're going back one step, then click on the design tab. And here where you see width, instead of content width, we're going to choose full width. Awesome. Now, the second thing we need to take care of is our call to action. And let's start with brand consistency and specifically the type of buttons that we want throughout the website. So for that, hover over the call to action and click on the pencil icon. Now you should land here, but just in case you land here on general, all you need to do is click on the design tab. Next, where you see text color for the standard state, you want to pick color number six. And for the hover state, pick color number nine. Now for the background color for the normal state, pick color number five. And for the hover state, color number one. And repeat for the border color, color five for the normal state, and color one for the hover state. Next, where you see border radius, you wanna click on the link icon to link the values together, and then type 90. So now we got 90 all around, and as you can see, it's now a rounded button. So that was just for the cosmetics, but now let's take a look at how the call to action button itself is working. And right now our call to action button is linked to a phone number, which means that when clicked, it will try to launch the phone app of your system and we will keep it like this for the rest of the tutorial. But in case you want to link this call to action button to a page, here's how to do it. So let's click on the general tab and let's change this text to contact, for example. Now let's click on publish to save our work. Let's go back to the WordPress admin. Let's hover over contact and where you see view, I'm going to right click and click on copy link. Next, let me go back to Astra, customize, then hover over the call to action, click on the pencil icon, and where you see link, I'm going to remove everything, and then I'm just going to right click and paste the URL I just copied. So let me click on publish, and now let's go back to the front end and refresh our page. So it's as expected with the changes we made, and if I click on contact, it's taking me to the contact page as expected. But as mentioned for the rest of this tutorial, we will keep it with the phone number. So let me put it back the way it was. And let me publish. All right, let's go back to the WordPress admin by clicking on this icon. And next, let's go to Appearance, Menus. Click on the little arrow next to Privacy Policy page. Scroll down and click on Remove. Next, click on Save Menu. Because the only reason why we added the privacy policy page in the first place is so that I could show you the difference between standard header and transparent header. Next, let's take care of our footer. So go to Astra, customize, then click on footer builder. And as you can see here, it's pretty much the same thing as the header builder. It's very, very similar. And just like the header builder, this is the representation of our footer. So right here in the middle, click on the gear icon and then click on the design tab. And where it says background, you want to select color number four. All right, let's close this. And next you want to click on footer menu, then go to the design tab. And for the normal state, you want to select color number two. And for the hover state and active states, you want to select color number five. All right, click on publish. And next you want to hover over the logo and click on the pencil icon or you could have clicked here on the HTML1 widget. Same destination, different ways. And by the way, this is a widget, which means you can add and remove widgets here in the footer builder, just like in the header builder. So right here in the side panel, I'm going to click on the logo, remove it, then click on add media, and I'm going to select the light version of our logo, click insert into post. And as you can see, it's a bit big, so I'm just going to select it here and just start resizing. Okay, much better. All right, so we got a navigation here, our logo, and here we have the copyright text. So I'm just going to remove it here by clicking on this icon. 
Then I'm going to click on the plus sign and I'm going to add the HTML2 widget. Now let me select it. And here on the left hand side in the panel, I'm going to remove everything. And by the way, I added the HTML2 widget, but there are other widgets like copyright and social, for example. All right, let me go back here and let me type privacy policy. Then I'm going to select the whole text and click on the link icon. Next, I'm going to start typing the name of the page I want to link to. And all right, WordPress found it. So let me click on apply. And there you go. Now this link is linked to the privacy policy page. Let's hit publish. And if you go to the front end and scroll down, let's click on privacy policy. And it works as intended. Now let's go back to our homepage. And as you can see on this page, we have our transparent header. Our logo is the right logo with the light color scheme. And then you can see the zoom in effect here in the navigation. Now, as I mentioned before, the menu is not really visible. We're going to fix that later in the course with the Spectral Visual Website Builder. Now let's scroll down and let's take a look at what we built for our footer. So we got our navigation, we got our logo, and we have a link to our privacy policy page. So as you can see, customizing your website's header and footer was super easy with the Astra Customizer. And in the next video in this course, we'll take a look at the Spectra Visual Website Builder Basics.